I want to share with us today how to make a lace lamination or fabric placement. Whatsoever name you choose to give it, you can call it lace lamination or fabric placement, whatever name you give it. So that is what I did on this, my blouse that came out looking very, very beautiful. If you're interested, just keep watching, okay? Now, guys, I have went ahead to cut out the shape of my lace. Like if you have joined the your blouse i am making use of um i am working on my victorian conical overboss corset after joining the pieces the pieces of the um lining or the blouse whatever one you wanted to use you can go ahead place it and cut out the shape of your lace or the shape of your applique that you are making use of okay now I'm going to take it to my ironing table. Now coming to this ironing table, my I have my lining. I just place something there. You can notice it is called a hemming gum. It has it's it's now out in a bigger shape. You can go to the market and purchase it. So now I am making use of the tiny one I have for now, and I went on placing the um hemming gum on top of this my um lining like so then after placing the hemming gum on top of it i went ahead to cover it with the lace that i just cut out with the shape of this lace blouse that i just cut out as you can see here now after covering it up i started arranging it because i wouldn't want the hemming gum to scatter okay now after that the next thing I'm going to do is to sprinkle water on top on the fabric. I started sprinkling water on the fabric. Like you see me doing, I spring a lot of water. Please, I spring a lot of water on this. Now, after sprinkling water, I will bring out my ironing hanky. I have my ironing hanky and I will start to iron. I will start to iron like so guys if you're ironing this i'm telling you it will automatically melt inside the material it will melt inside the fabric like you will no longer notice that you are that you place a hemming gum in between this fabric i'm telling you the truth you will enjoy it like those of you still well, imagining how to do a less placement fabric placement this is this is how you can achieve it if you don't want to use your thread to tag if you don't want to use your thread to tag this is the best way to achieve it and that is what i did that came out for me it works for me and i know that it's going to work for you as well so i continue to iron but there is something i notice on the process of ironing this um making this lace fabric lace uh, or placement you know i was ironing like the way we normally iron a dress there's another method that i learned that is very sweet i'm still going to show us that so you can see there it has gum though it has gummed the hemming gum has um has automatically melt inside you will not notice that there is hemming gum on that so i continue to sprinkle my water the purpose of sprinkling this water is to help it to melt inside, melt very well so that your your work will come out clean. You will not be seeing any hemming gum. If you didn't get it well, you will be seeing some hemming gum in between your fabric. Now, I went ahead to continue placing my hemming gum at the damp part of this blouse because the hemming gum has not reached that place i will just cover everything up with my hemming gum okay after covering it up i'll close it with my legs sprinkle water and continue to iron So you can see the way I am sprinkling the water. Please make sure you sprinkle a lot of water and make sure that your water is clean. 
be cold make sure that your water is clean don't go and ruin your fabric and make sure that you're working with a fabric that is not um um that is not washing out okay so after that i'm going to continue to iron like I said before, I am going to show you another method of achieving this very well. I like this method though. The method of like ironing your dress. But there is another one that is better than this that I'm going to show us how to do that. Okay. So now guys, you can see that everything has lapped though. It has laminated. Or laminate, I don't know. Now, I just turn the back and continue to iron. The reason for ironing the back is to... For it to be tight very well so just give the back a hot press for everything to relax very well so now this is what i'm talking about guys you just place your ironing hanky sprinkle water and continue to put the iron on top of the fabric like so you put it when you notice that it has gummed you remove it and place it on another side that you have not ironed like you see me doing no more moving the iron just put the iron on top of the fabric at, that you have sprinkled water and allow it to give it that hot pressure it will automatically help the hemming gum to melt inside and here comes the outcome of my work you can see that it's looking very very neat and beautiful and i didn't use any thread to tack this fabric this blouse so guys this is it thank you for watching if you love this just kindly share it and bye for now